So a huge meteor exploded over the Earth with the equivalent force of 10 atomic bombs and NASA had no idea. We know they had no idea because it happened back in December and the news about it is just breaking now. So how did this huge explosion go unnoticed by NASA? Well I'm going to tell you in just a second but first I should probably let you know that you're watching Inform Overload. We're a news channel but not just any news channel. We tell you about the biggest viral news stories that are currently trending while simultaneously making the news more entertaining. I'm Charlotte Dobre, I'm the main host on this channel and if you're new here, listen, I know we just met but do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. I promise not all our videos will give you anxiety, only like 72.67% of them. Alright, so here's the deal. On December 18th, 2018, while most of us were going about our lives, probably buying Christmas presents for our family members that they would later return, a huge meteor exploded 16 miles above the Earth's surface, above the Bay Ring Sea. The Bay Ring Sea is the chunk of sea that's separated from the Gulf of Alaska by the Alaska Peninsula. This particular event is called a fireball, NASA's term for exceptionally bright meteors that are spectacular enough to be seen over a very wide area. Last year in December of 2018, US military satellites picked up the explosion and then told NASA about it. As in NASA didn't pick up on the explosion first and they had no idea that this meteor had just exploded in the atmosphere with an incredible force. It was the second most powerful fireball in 30 years, since the Shelyabinsk meteor. For those that don't remember, back in 2013, the Shelyabinsk meteor exploded over Russia. The blast injured hundreds of people. This recent meteor is the biggest to explode in Earth's atmosphere since then. Fireballs are actually quite rare. According to NASA's planetary defense officer, Lindy Johnson, such a powerful meteor event only happens a few times every 100 years. NASA keeps track of fireballs that reach Earth. So far this year, in 2019, there have been five of them, but most of them were super small, too small to be noticed by the average human being on the surface of the Earth, as opposed to the human beings not on the surface of the Earth. So how did this meteor go unnoticed? This is a picture of the meteor taken by Japan's Himawari satellite. Wait, where is it? That little thing? That little orange thing? Damn, that doesn't look very big at all. So small. This meteor was around 10 meters or 33 feet across and had a mass of around 1400 tons. But when it entered Earth's atmosphere, the impact was 173 kilotons of TNT. For some perspective, that's 10 times the energy released by the little boy atomic bomb that was dropped on Hiroshima in 1945. That blast only released around 15 kilotons of TNT. The Fat Man bomb dropped on Nagasaki three days later only released 20 kilotons. Both these bombs caused immense devastation and are still being used for comparisons by trending news outlets 70 years later. Cheeky, I know. If you're in the vicinity of this meteor, it would have been an incredibly bright sight, like a second sun in the sky. So why did this explosion go unnoticed by NASA? Well, NASA is keeping track of big near Earth objects that pose a threat. This one caused a big explosion, but it was too small to actually reach the surface of the Earth. The Earth is being pummeled by space rocks all the time, but most of the time they burn up in our atmosphere. Aren't you glad we have an atmosphere? Orange you glad we didn't say banana? Anyways friends, this is all I have for you on this. I'm gonna wrap up this video with some comment features. Meteors make me happy, so here's the comment dance. I raged this meteor three bananas. Deadshot Gaming said, I wish only Charlotte Dobre ran this channel. By the way, you are better than CBS, Fox News, and BBC News. That is very sweet, but IO would be nothing without those news outlets. We make the news more entertaining, as in we take news that's already in existence, and then we make that more entertaining, somewhat. All our videos have to be backed up by a credible source, including this one. Ro said, I'm lactose intolerant, but I've been drinking milk every day in my cereal. Ew. Remind me not to sit next to you on the bus. Aaron M said, what is OG? OG is another way to say original, like one of the first. Used in a sentence, Charlotte is the OG potato. Soda Pop Bottle said, oh my gosh, thank you for keeping me up to date. I O. Oh, you are welcome, Soda Pop Bottle. This is the end screen. Thanks for watching. To keep watching, click that playlist and obviously leave a like, subscribe, turn on those notifications so I can see you in a future IO video.